there. You're gonna bump, turn this way a little bit, make sure you have a good post back here. So now it's a big bridge over this shoulder. He's getting light, so I extend. I shrimp. I'm gonna bring my knees to my Okay, un uncivilized uh, vitality, uncivilized jujitsu playlist. Think we're up to lesson four. Today, Justin's got a kipping escape from Mount Forest. That we're calling it kipping escape. Kip escape. Kip yep. escape. It's okay. not the actual kipping part of the kip escape. It's the beginning of it. More often than not, if you get this part of the escape right, you don't generally have to go into the kipping escape uh, unless you're a high-level competitor, and then it's probably good to know the whole part of the kipping escape. But. The general idea here is uh, almost all of our mount escapes are contingent on having a good bridge and getting some type of uh, uh, our partner to, to tilt in favor a certain way. So the very first thing that Mark's going to do is he's going to do a little bump and get one of his elbows buried inside a knee. Now he's got to have a really good strong post over here because he's going to be using this leg primarily to bridge off of. So now what he's going to do is what we call a diagonal bridge. He's going to diagonally bridge over his far shoulder, his right shoulder. When John gets light, he's gonna extend his hands and shrimp his hips out this way. Now he uses both of his hooks. He brings one hook in, brings the other hook in and starts to square up. That way if John tries to square up too, he finishes in an in a open guard or a butterfly guard position. Now typically what happens, the first time you go to do this, the guy's gonna post his hands out and you're not gonna be able to keep him, uh, you're not gonna be able to keep him over there. He's gonna wanna square back up. So we're gonna use that momentum and just take we'll him back the back other up. way and do the same exact scape on the other side. So he gets his elbow buried, gets his hands to the hips, does a big, good diagonal bridge and gets Doc to place his hands down, but he starts squaring back up right away. So Doc wants to bring his weight this way. So Mark's gonna send him this way and diagonally bridge now over this shoulder. More often than not, that's what happens. The person will fall in high level competition. We get right to our feet because we can uh, get caught up in leg entangle entanglements here. Leg entanglements, excuse me. So one more time. Let's go down there, so we can get you in Back mounts. <coughs> Mark bumps, gets an elbow inside, bridges. He comes back, squares, and he's out the other side. Perfect. Mount escape number four. All right, all right, very good. If you like the playlist, uh, we'll keep it going each week. We'll grab a little five minute um, tidbit for jujitsu. Give us a thumbs up and comments and share and like and subscribe and all that. That's it.